Welcome everyone back to all the video. Today as you can see I have the Horton 229 version 3 which is a pretty special plane as I'm sure you understand so let's just activate our boosters now. I apologize I do have a cold but I just want to record to get some videos done. So yeah the Horton 229 is a pretty amazing plane uh, as you can see it's oh okay I'll have to bring out the history lessons of my like, yeah, whatever never mind so playing operation ruler which is a good map good map now as you can see i'm actually taking out eight flat rounds because these those don't have the machining cannon 108 30 meters like the other things <laughs> sorry that was slightly vague like the me 262 the tier to the BF on my K4 with my G6, I have three of them on. So, yeah, it doesn't have these types of. Oh, that's it. It doesn't have these types of. Uh, that type of cannon. However, the Machine Cannon 103, I think people prefer it because it has a few special abilities, such as way more ammo, a higher muzzle velocity, and best of all, you can destroy tanks with armored. Uh, vehicle, uh, um, thingy, thingy, thingy rounds. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, these cannons do have a bit of a problem, that's the slow firing, and the two of them, are, well, they are inaccurate. They do have a lot of uh, spread. Well, it's not so much spread as just, like, it just fires everywhere, and it's annoying, and it hurts my feelings. So, yeah, right. That's a bit weird, but you know, you know how it is. So this plane is the most maneuverable jet in the game. It does rip half the 12 Gs, and you might think 12 Gs are kind of hard to, well, do. Uh, you'll be wrong, of course, because it it isn't. I've done more than 20 Gs in this in arcade, and it just does just turn like that, like right now. If you blink or close your eye for two seconds, then I could be heading back to the runway, even though I'm going at, like, straight out of the runway. So yeah, currently I am the only two, one of the only two Horton 229s in this game. Let's just check. Uh, and so usually there are lots, lot more Horton 229s, but it must be because it's down to it. Because the Horton 229s are really a good mixture of lots of planes like types of planes it's a very good it's a very good ground attacker that was my speech being weird it's a very good ground attacker as you'll soon see i'll destroy lots of medium tanks hopefully and in the previous game not the previous game to this obviously i actually did win the game single-handedly myself by destroying 23 tanks in bulge it's just wait Ooh. Oh, there is a plane, but I'm not going to go for it, I'm just going to destroy medium tanks. So I did single-handedly win the game, we were going to lose and everything, but 23 tank kills, easy. So, this plane is a pretty good uh, ground attacker, that's for sure. I mean, you, ca you can't stout it, okay? The 30mm are... Probably the best ground attacking. Uh, oh, 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 look at that blind shot. Probably the best ground attacking uh, cannons in the game. And that's because they. I don't know whether you can destroy your heavy pull boxes like the normal pull boxes, but you can certainly destroy light pull boxes. But tanks are really easy to destroy. Not flare tanks, those are slightly harder. You can still destroy them, obviously, but. You need to aim properly, etc., etc., because these those, those, those don't have explosive buildings. That was bad shooting. So, yeah, the thing about them is that uh, if you saw my ME410 A4, A1, U4 video, then uh, you'd know that the 50mm cannon on there can also destroy tanks. And the thing about this is that you can, you can just you can spray a bit, you know. Spray and this is what I mean by the weapon the weapon spread. Because look, look, look. look at the traces very carefully. Let me just turn around first, obviously, because 
I, I actually do need to turn around in order to engage them. Look at look at it. Look, look, look. They go all over the place. That, I mean, usually all I need is really one or two shots to kill a tank, but now I have to fire quite a few more. And so that's that's really annoying, you know. Also, I'm turning way too quickly, and I have to use my. Oh, I have to use my. Uh, a and D keys to just roll, so I break out of the turn. If you see here, I'm just using my tapping my D key to like, stop rolling. That's that's how it is. It's just it's not like yeah, it is stop rolling. Oh, that's another kill. And already I'm at the top of my team. Well, six tank kills is going to get you a lot of points. I mean, it's around 100 per tank, and it's not hard to kill them. So at the moment we have. Uh, one tank left in this column, so obviously we have to engage that. Now the great thing about this is this is probably the ultimate ground attacker, because I mean, what is there wrong with this? I mean, look at ah, oh, damn it, damn it, damn it! Oh, whew. thankfully no squirrels were residing in that tree. Otherwise, I would have had uh, because this plane is actually made out of wood, I believe. It's incorporated. Okay, we have an F eighty coming in. F80. Yeah. Thing is about F80s is that you can barely outrun them if you have like a good good start, and especially since I have the axle uh, compressor. Okay, the F80 went to the apex, that's right. Because I have the uh, compressor upgrade unlocked, so I actually have um, a half decently. It's like it's a, it's a half. Upgraded uh, Porton. I mean, they do. It. I mean, I'm researching the gun upgrades, the minus spreading ones, because since I already have the type of the belts, obviously. But just back to weapons trade. That is the reason why I use each background to kill planes, because it's not like it, they're bad. I mean, one shot is pretty well. I mean, if you get say their tail, then their tail is likely to come ripping off. Or if you get spotted the wing, then that's going to rip off. We're going to lose, aren't we? Ah, that's nasty. I, I don't have much time to kill 14 grams on it, so that's fine. I already killed 7, which is a half decent amount. Uh, okay. So, and the armored target belts, uh, these belts, are the only ones with traces in every round, and that's why I use them. Look at that slide. Well, it's not slide, it's more like a Ooh, this is Spitfire. Now, the Spitfire sees me coming, and he's going to turn. And that is something you shouldn't really do in this plane. Is head on. I mean, fine. The only well, to be honest, the only real way you can, what an idiot. What's he doing? Okay. 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 That that's a slightly late turn. I mean, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah. That's what I mean about the. I mean, they are also slow. Okay, right. I'm going to engage this in. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He has turned towards me. Let's just do some spicy maneuvers. Okay, I just pulled 13 Gs. Okay, right. Okay, that was a bit risky. It's risky, frisky now. I'm not going to. Go back and attack him. What? Why? Because I can just outrun him because I have a jet plane and I haven't burned barely enough of my speed because I've only went into one vertical maneuver. Ah. So obviously he can't catch me. As you can see, he, he's trying to. He's trying. You know. You know. Well, well done. Well, I, I am. I am in a jet plane and you. You are. So you're in a propeller plane. I was just ground pounding. So obviously you aren't really going to be exactly uh, super quick, are you? No, no, no. You're only catching up to me because I turned, because I'm going to now engage some more tanks. Now, as you can see, I am... Actually, our team is... We're, we're balanced, I would think. And we only have one Spitfire who is... I, I think he's a new, but I mean, finally has a Mark 24 Spitfire, which is a last Spitfire, etc, etc, etc. Uh, but, but ground pounding, honestly, honestly, ground pounding, ground pounding, ground pound, gr ground... Okay, right. Well, I'll stop there. 
but you, you can see my point. It, it's not really, it's not really uh, something you would do if you uh, can see. Okay, I think he has turned away. Let's just. Uh, and you might be thinking that I'm a nasty person from LP. Ah, he's here. You might be thinking that I'm a nasty person from LP teammates, but. They're doing the right thing. I can win this game, but for goodness sake, no, sorry, something minimized my game. All right, I'm just going to turn away from that. If it's fine, I'm going to just go engage some more tanks because I, I can't be distracted. He's just distracting me. Oh, come that That is exactly what I mean by those cannons being annoying. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll stop being weird. But yeah, it is. Pretty annoying these cannons. They are pretty annoying about it. So yes, um, they are distracting the opposite enemy team. So I can destroy ground sockets. That's that's how it goes really. That was close. Uh, the trees are really annoying as you can imagine. So now I'm going to make a turn. I'm just going to. I mean. Thing is, you might think that this is wow, a very large plane. I mean, it's a flying wing. I mean, it's got a lot of surface, but head on, you have basically nowhere to shoot. Okay, right, let's just destroy this tank. Okay, right, well, that one's evade this pit fire. Oh, come on. Ah, good, good shot, good shot, good shot, you know. Well done. So, yeah. This is the Horton Tooth Guy, you know I usually do two battles, but this was a big battle, so I'll just leave you with that. So, 13 round target kill before I killed 23. 13 is still a pretty good number. And I, um, yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm nowhere here close to researching this thing. Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you have a good time. If you did, please show some support, etc. And yeah. See you later, yeah, 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 I will, hopefully, yep, yeah. yeah, watch my other videos, please, thank you, subscribe, oh. yeah, peace out.